Hello, friends. Welcome to Circle Time. Hi, Sue. Sue, do you want to help me sing the good morning song? Good morning, good morning. How are you? Good morning, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Hope you are too. I'm fine, I'm fine. Hope you are too. Well, Sue, do you like brownies? I love brownies. Do you like brownies? Well, today we're going to read a book. It's called If You Give a Mouse a Brownie. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Right now, we need to give a fish some food. <laughs> it's time for us to do our class job. We've got to feed Fred. I think he's ready too. Look at Fred. He's so excited. Good morning, Fred. <laughs> so now that we have fed Fred, let's turn around and see what day it is. The month is March. Hey, that's our letter of the day. M is for March. Let's reach into our can and see how we're going to count today. It says like a mouse. So can you make your voice really squeaky like a little mouse? Are you ready to count? Here we go. One, two. <laughs> Very good. Today is March 2nd. March 2nd. And if you go up to the top, you can see that the day of the week starts with a T and an H. T-H together makes the sound th. So what day is it today? The, the, the. Today is Thursday. Good job. Let's sing our Days of the Week song. It's time to check the weather, so look outside your window and see what your weather's like today. My weather is rainy today. What about you? Did you check and see? Okay, so when I do like this with my microphone, you can shout out whatever your weather is. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is. It is. It is. Out today. It is. It is. It is. Out today. Well, let's dress Weather Bear. Weather Bear, we're going to put on a t-shirt for you today. There it is. And we're going to put on some pants. Not quite shorts yet, but we're getting closer. There's your coat and your hat, just in case you need them. And what is the season right now, everyone? The season is winter. It's still winter, but remember on March 20th, it will be the first day of spring. Well, that was our calendar and weather time, and now it's time for our letter of the day. Today's letter is the letter M. Can you say M? M. If your name has letter M, stand up. If your name has letter M, stand up. 
If your name has letter M, if your name has letter M, if your name has letter M, stand up. Yay! Well, M is for if you give a mouse a brownie. That's what M is for today. That's our theme. So I decorated the letter M to look like a mouse. I just gave it two eyes and a nose and two simple ears. And you can color your letter M also if you like. So that's an idea for decorating your letter M today. These blank letters along with the handwriting paper I'm about to show you are completely free on my website. The link is below parents. Okay, well, now that we can recognize letter M, let's practice writing it. And I'm gonna show you how. So to make a big M, you make a number one. Then you go back up to the top, slide to the bottom, then walk back up and fall straight down. So down and then down, up, down. Let's practice writing a little M. Would you like to give it a try? So to make a, an M, a big M, you're gonna start by making a one. Go back to the top. Wee! slide down like at the playground. Wee! Then walk back up to the top. And then we're gonna just fall straight down. One, down, up, down. Make your one first, then go back to the top. Slide to the bottom. Walk back up the hill and then fall straight down. That's how you make the big letter M. Well, let me show you how to make little M. You just need another number one. And you're going to go over, over two times. So one and then over, over, almost like a bouncy ball bounces over, over. If you're using this handwriting paper, then look for the stairs because the little M goes downstairs right here. So make a little number one and then boing, boing, bounce over two times. One and then over, over. You wanna try? You can sky write if you don't have any paper. That means pretend that you're writing in the sky. One, boing, boing. Let's do it once more. One, boing, boing. That's how you make the little letter M. Cheer for you and give you a sticker. Can I see your letter M? Great job listening and learning. You are going to get a sticker. This is for handwriting time. Very good job. Well, now we know what letter M looks like. We know how to write letter M. So it's time to talk about the sound that letter M makes. Letter M makes the sound mmm, mmm, mmm. You put your lips together and make that sound mmm, mmm. Mm. It sounds like I'm saying, mmm, 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 like after I've eaten something delicious and yummy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Can you do that? Take your hand and rub your tummy like this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What's something that you like to eat? What's your favorite food? Mmm. <gasps> That's the sound that letter M makes. Well, that was our letter time. And today we are going to be learning some things about mice. So take a look. I'll show you some cool things about these very interesting creatures that God made. So first of all, wow, look at this. Isn't he cute? This is a mouse. One mouse. But if you see more than one, we call these mice. One mouse, more than one mice. How many mice can you see here? One, two, three, 
four, five, six. I see six mice. Mice can eat 15 to 20 times a day. Wow. Mice have a pointed snout, round ears, and an almost hairless tail. Mice use their whiskers, those are the hair sticking out from the sides of their face, to sense changes in temperature and to feel the surface they're walking along. There are more than 30 known species of mice. Wow, look at all the different colors. Some are short, some are long. Wow, I can't believe there are this many different kinds of mice. We have a very creative creator, God. Mice are nocturnal. That means that they sleep during the daytime and they're awake at night. They have poor eyesight, but they make up for this with their very good hearing and smell. Mice build very complex burrows with long entrances and many escape routes. They're very clean and tidy rodents with their burrows often having separate areas for storing food, sleeping, and going to the toilet. In 1928, Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse was the first mouse character to be used in children's cartoons and animation. Mouse characters have remained popular ever since, with other special mice like Speedy Gonzalez and Jerry from Tom and Jerry and even Stuart Little. Maybe you've seen some of these movies before. Well, it's time for art. And for art today, we're going to be making a rectangular prism. So let's head to the art table. So this is our craft for today. This is just a paper rectangular prism. I colored it brown. I wanted it to look like a brownie. And I even used some markers to put some sprinkles on the top. So the template for this looks like this. This is a rectangular prism. It's a paper one. I'll put the link below so you can get a copy of this. I hope you can make a paper brownie rectangular prism today. Well, it's story time and today's book is called If You Give a Mouse a Brownie. This story is by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you give a mouse a brownie, he's going to ask for some ice cream to go with it. When you give him the ice cream, he'll ask you for a spoon. He'll start drumming on the table. Drumming will get him so excited, he'll want to start a band. You'll have to play guitar. He'll want to put on a show. When the stage is finished, he'll want to make lots of tickets. You'll have to find paper and markers. When the tickets are done, he'll decide to make posters as well. He'll hang the posters all over the neighborhood. When he's out hanging them, it might start to rain. He'll fold some posters and make a little boat. Then he'll sail it in a puddle. He'll get so wet, he'll start to sneeze. Achoo! You'll have to put him in your pocket to stay nice and warm. When he peeks out of your pocket, he'll smell something delicious. The smell will remind him that he's hungry. You'll have to take him to the store and get a few things to nibble on. Of course, he'll want to have a picnic. When the sun comes out, you'll have to take him to the park. While you're setting out the picnic, he'll see a playground. He'll jump on the swings. He'll go so high, when he looks up, he'll see the sky. He might notice a big white cloud in the sky. 
The cloud will remind him of ice cream. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him some ice cream, he'll want a brownie to go with it. The end. Well, that was a funny story, that mouse. Oh, you might remember if you give a mouse a cookie is another story that we've read before. Well, I hope you have a great day. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.